okay so this is another popular utl fosa quiz or you can say it's a ospi ospi on popular utl fosa so let's begin with this test here you're seeing is an image and you have to identify that this popliteal fossa is of which leg? I think it's easy. So here you're seeing is the answer and the answer is right leg. So nothing, just a revision about popliteal fossa. You know, there are, you know, it's a rhomboid fossa which has supramedial boundary formed by two tendons. You can see this one is the superficial one is semitendinosus. Semitendinosus and deep to that is a thinned out flattened tendon of semimembranosus. So the deeper thinned out semimembranosus actually inserts posteriorly on the medial condyle of tibia. And this semitendinosus is, it you know, it descends down and inserts on the anterior surface of the medial condyle of tibia along with two other muscles. They are, you know, sartorius and grisalis. All three muscles together called guy ropes from the three different bones of the hip bone, right? Different portions of the hip bone. Semitendinosus coming from ischial tuberosity, then, and then sartorius coming from the ilium, and grisalis from the pubis. So from the three different bones, all the three muscles having a common point of insertion anteriorly on the medial condyle of tibia. So together they are called guy ropes and when they insert there is a bursa anteriorly and that's called enzyme bursa. Very good. Now the suprolateral boundary you are seeing is formed by a single muscle. This is the only obliquely placed, placed muscle in the back of thigh. It also has two heads, a long head and a short head. The long head is a hamstring. The short head is not a hamstring which is arising from the you know, linea aspera. So the long, you know, different nerve supply, I mean, you know, all the three muscles here, semimembranosus, semitendinosus, and the long head of bicep femoris, they are innervated by the tibial component of sciatic nerve. However, the short and the head of bicep femoris is innervated by the common peroneal component of the sciatic nerve. Okay, so then the two tendons, the two, I mean, the two heads join to form a tendon and which this tendon actually you know inserts you know it has a bifidid insertion actually uh, to the head of the fibula there's a pointed tip that's called you know the steloid process of fibula onto which there is the attachment of the short lateral collateral ligament of the knee joint so remember this biceps actually bicep femoris it is splits to embrace the uh, short uh, lateral collateral ligament and it is actually having uh, attached with its two uh, you know uh, because it is splits so it is attaching uh, with two points at the head of fibula and now down below you have inframedial and infralateral boundary both of them they have been found by gastronemius so medial boundary you can see the medial head of gastronemius which is a little more bulkier and the lateral head of gastronemius remember so remember what lies below to the lateral head of gastronemius there is another thinned out tendon that is called plantaris along with the lateral head of gastronemius and that this head has you know uh, sometimes a sesamoid bone called fabula the lateral head of gastronemius while below to the medial head of the gastronemius you find a bursa that's called brody's bursa and and don't forget deep below there's a capsule of the knee joint and the, this capsule has having a gap for the tendon of popliteus to emerge out and through that sometimes the synovial membrane bursts i mean you know bulges out and that's called baker's cyst okay so <clears throat> 
uh, about this uh, semimembranosus or oh, sorry this muscle uh, gastronemius and plantaris they are innervated by the nerve of the back of leg and that is tibial nerve including probably it is deep inside that also is by tibial nerve okay so it's confirmed now that this probably and the contents of course you know is uh, deep I mean, you know, you can say posterior to anterior, actually, most superficial, if you see from behind, it is tibial nerve, then you have a vein, popliteal uh, vein, and the deepest structure in the popliteal force of the heart is popliteal artery. Got it? So, that was about the popliteal fossa. Got it? Okay.